Hi guys, it's Lori. Got a grocery haul for you today. I wasn't going to do it because I thought, man, it's only been a couple days since I did a grocery haul, but actually I looked and it's been a whole week. <laughs> I hate grocery shopping on Fridays, so I don't usually do it. I usually wait till Monday or Tuesday and do it, but anyway, yeah, grocery shopping on Friday. Today, I'm going to give you a little bit of update real quick. Today is P3, day 20. So tomorrow is my last day of P3, even though I'm still going to eat P3 anyway. Um, yeah. So, um, when I vlogged a couple days ago, I said that I was up and I wasn't sure what, what had caused it. Kitty cat, get away from my groceries. Seriously, quit it. Okay. So I was up and I wasn't sure because I didn't eat anything wrong or anything like that. I didn't do anything wrong. So the only thing I could figure was maybe it was from the lifting because I was really, really super sore. And I have been experiencing delayed onset muscle soreness, which in the weightlifting world is known as DOMS. So what happens is when I do a really hard, intense workout, the next day, I've noticed the next day I'm a little sore, not bad, but just a little bit. And I'm usually up like this time I was up 0.6 the next day. And then it was our off day. So I didn't even lift the day before my big game. But that following day, the delayed onset muscle soreness set in and I was like really, really sore. That's when I was up 1.4. I looked back at my logbook and I was actually up 1.4. So that's two pounds, you know, in, in two days time, I'm, which I didn't realize when I vlogged last time. But, and when I looked back a little bit further, I noticed that the last time I was really super sore because I put that down. I note that because I'm, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with my body. If I see a gain and I'm sore, well, that's why. <laughs> You know. So for the last couple of days, I've just, I've just been eating like normal, you know, just eating clean, making sure I'm keeping my carbs extra low. I mean, not extra low, but making sure I'm keeping my carbs down, not eating any extra carbs. Let's put it that way. And sure enough, I am back down. And this is the funny part. Today I was down 0.6. Yesterday I was down 1.4. Those are exactly what my gains were. And I'm not sore anymore. So I'm going to guess that it's because of the muscle soreness and I'm just going to keep logging it, writing it down every time and keeping track of it so I can figure out my, what my body's doing when I'm lifting and you know, all that good stuff. So now I'm just 0.8 above my LIW and I'm happy as a clam. John, he's doing great. He's like 1.4 below LIW or something like that. He's, he's maintaining like a champ. So yeah, we're both doing really good as far as that goes. Okay. Let's get on with the grocery haul. Today I'm going to do something just a little bit different when I'm all done with my grocery haul, which it isn't big at all, but when I'm done with my grocery haul, I stopped at Dollar Tree too, so I was going to show you what I got at the Dollar Tree, but I'm going to tell you when I'm done with my grocery haul, so if you're not interested in the Dollar Tree stuff, you know, you can just shut me off or whatever, that's fine, and I won't be offended or anything, but just thought I'd show it, you know, some people like to see that kind of stuff, and I like to show it, so anyway, here we go, all right, I got, start out with the boring stuff, I got three more of the, actually I got four this time, of these half and halves, and I get it every time, it's a staple, and of course my coffee, they did have some of my K-Cups this time, they had only four boxes left, so I bought all four, and I picked up, I already have a bag of this in the, in the refrigerator, the shredded mozzarella, but this is a one pound bag too, um, but I got another one because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some fathead pizza crust this weekend. And I think what I'm going to do is see how they freeze just the crust. Like make the crust and bake it at least partially and freeze it and see what happens when I go to cook it again. If it's good that way, that'll be nice if it is. Because that's, you know, that's kind of a pain in the neck to make. I don't know. I think it is. And I picked up some of this ham. But this is, this is just going to be for the kids for the weekend. But it was laying here so I figured I'd show it to you. It's honey ham. So it doesn't have good macros for me. So, yeah. I mean, I guess I could probably eat it. It'd probably be all right. But no, I'm not going to. It's got sugar in it and dextrose. It's got that carrageenan in it, too, that Alma was asking about. I don't know what the big deal is with that either, but I know that some people don't want to eat that. I should check into that. Okay, I got some pork steaks, $4.58 for this package of pork steaks. There's three good-sized pork steaks in here. And it is 2.30 pounds. John was hungry for pork steaks. He said he's been wanting them for a while, so I picked some up. I do not like pork steaks. The boys aren't a big fan of pork steaks either, so I just got some of these center cut pork chops for us, and I got two packages. And when I make, when I cook, there's three pork steaks in there. I might as well make enough for a couple of meals. So, 
458 for those, 322 for this, and 341 for this. So, 11, 12 dollars for meat for all, you know for all of us, and it's going to go for more than one meal. So that's pretty good. All right, I also picked up some of these chicken leg quarters, and this is actually a 4.6 pound package, four dollars and sixteen cents. It's only 89 cents a pound. So, yeah, I'm going to make these on the grill. I was hoping to do it this weekend, but now I found out it's supposed to pour down rain all weekend, so I don't know. Probably just do it next week sometime. And I also got the chicken thighs, and this is bone in, and three dollars and eighty-two cents for this. So I'm gonna make these all at once again. You know, prep ahead for a couple days, and that'll be good. Okay. Um, yeah, well, I guess that's about it. I got this pack of buns, but <laughs> that's for the boys to make their sandwiches with. Yeah. Um, seems like I got more than that, but I guess that's it for the grocery haul. So I'm going to show you the things I got from the Dollar Tree. So if you don't want to watch that part, thanks for watching and see ya. <laughs> okay, what did I get at the Dollar Tree? I got this. This isn't going to be overly exciting, but because I did try to control myself, I only got 25 items, which that's okay. That's pretty good for me. I tried to stay out of the craft spot and, you know, stuff like that. So anyway, <sighs> glass cleaner. I got two of these. These are um, almost a two liter bottle for a dollar. I love this glass cleaner. It is wonderful. It works great. Dollar Tree. I got six packages of these dishwasher detergent packs, and I really, really like these. Um, there's ten in a pack for a dollar, and I got six of them because I have a plastic container down there that I fill up. It's got a lid on it so they don't get any moisture in them. And, of course, I had to get my Blue Dawn. I love my Blue Dawn. And I picked up some a couple tubes of toothpaste. I like that mint zing. That's really good. So, anyways, I got my little granddaughter a couple pairs of these cute little socks. They're so cute. Two pairs of socks for a dollar for her. And they've got those little things on the bottom so that, you know, the anti-slip kind of thing. See them? They're shaped like hearts. But this little girl takes her socks off all the time. So half the time you take her to a store and you come out and she's only got one sock on. Or none. They're laying in the store in a parking lot somewhere. You know. She thinks they're disposable. She likes to be barefoot. I can't blame her. I'm barefoot right now. So, got a couple over the door hooks that I need for. I had one in my bedroom that I've had for literally since I've lived in this house and I've lived here for 28 years. <laughs> it finally broke. So, anyway, picked up a couple more. Got some of these. They had these little ice packs. These are the small ones. And I picked up two of those because we use those a lot. And they had these bigger ones too. So, I picked those up. So, we'll be using those for sure this summer. And um, I got this cute planter, and it's a little bit, it's tin, and it's a little bit on the flimsy side, but that'll be all right. I'm going to use it for like a centerpiece on my picnic table. I'm probably going to put like a clear coat over it just to protect it a little bit from the weather and maybe put something down the bottom. But I'm going to put a plant in here, some flowers or a plant or something, and put that as a centerpiece on our picnic table out back. And, oh... I shouldn't show you these because they're not they're not good. But I got four packs of these sweet tart ropes. My boys absolutely love these, and my Dollar Trees never have them. They're always gone like as soon as I get them in. And this was all they had was four packs. So I picked up those, and and that's fine. You know, they're kids. They'll they can have some candy once in a while, and they don't overdo it on candy. So I'm okay with that. And they share with their friends and you know girlfriends and stuff. So yeah, and I think that is all. Oh, I got these. I got two of these um, spatter screens, the kind with the handle on it. I don't like the kind that has the handle right here in the middle. I'd rather have the handle out here like this. So anyway, um, I got two of these because now that we have our new oven back here, um, it really shows when we have grease splatters. I'm like, oh my God, you know, I didn't realize, <clears throat> excuse me, I didn't realize with our old one that stuff splattered that bad. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway. That is it, and I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you liked me adding in the Dollar Tree stuff or not. And if nobody did, I just won't do it. Or maybe I will. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, that's it for now. See ya. Thanks a lot for watching.